On election day, I biked downtown to the National Women's Democratic Club and phone banked for Hillary. Every room was just packed with people calling. And I have to say I was there for four hours and I didn't reach a single voter, which I should have taken as a bad sign. I went and picked up my kids at school and then we were just kind of watching TV and it started to be pretty early when Florida started looking really bad. The Associated Press within the last few minutes calling Florida for Donald Trump. And I just went upstairs to my bedroom and every hour or so I would look at my phone and New York Times alert would say another state. Pennsylvania goes to Donald Trump. Donald Trump is the president of the United States. It was like a physical, I felt like physically assaulted as a woman, as a Jew, as a mother. I resolved to change my life that day. My name is Laura Moser. I am a writer, journalist, mother of two, and I am running for Congress in the 7th Congressional District of Texas. My kids are almost five and eight, and I always say that just when they got easy, I decided to run for Congress and make my life hard. Hello. I've like not sat down today for one second. Sit down there. Here, you can do it. Just stick that apple in your mouth Sorry, while you, you walk. Yeah. yeah, we gotta watch the cats. So I have to go all the way over here. Come on, let me in. I remember when I tried to do that and walk. Good to see you. Oh, hey, hey, don't fight. Every day there's like 20 things you should be doing and you can't do all of them. It's sort of like parenting, you're always falling short in some way. And it never stops. I'm Leo, that was perfectly planted. What was? I grew up about 10 blocks away from where we currently are sitting. But why not, let's, I think we start with Belmont. Okay, I do too. And I moved back so that I could flip this traditionally Republican district and turn it blue. I love that you're block walking. Totally, yeah. every, week, every week I can get her, I do it every week. The 7th Congressional District, it's Republican, but it's socially moderate. This district voted for Hillary Clinton in the 2016 election by 1.4 points, which is not much, but hey, it's enough. I mean, it's going to be a tough district to flip, so you have to have somebody who's strong and charismatic and has the And kind of not the same old. After the election, a friend of mine said, gosh, I wish there was just one thing that we could do a day. I wish someone would tell us just one thing. So the idea that I came up with was daily action. Every day you get one text message saying the one thing that you should do to take a stand against the current government. And we really focused on cabinet appointments and Russia investigations. This is what democracy looks like. And after the Women's March, I felt like it just exploded. We had almost 300,000 people sign up within two months. The success of this did not go unnoticed. And so on her trips back to Houston, which she does frequently, people were starting more and more to be like, well, what are you actually doing? What's next? The long-term well-being of our kids is at stake. How will they perceive the world? How will they perceive their neighbors? How will they be treated by folks around them? Like, this is very real. Will they be the first person to die in the water wars of 20, you know, 90? Like, who knows? Laura needed to start being here full-time right away. So I found myself, you know, with a mound of logistics in terms of figuring out moving, and also with two kids, who now I was the primary caregiver for. It's for dinner tonight, and then lunch tomorrow, and then if they'll have it, dinner tomorrow too. But we'll see, three meals in a row is a lot. The day we got married, my husband accepted a job with uh, Senator Obama's fledgling presidential campaign. We moved to Chicago. It was a long shot campaign, and our lives changed forever because, you know, we all know how this story ends. Congratulations, Mr. President. We had Passover in the White House, and my daughter, who is very uh, strong willed, I should say, she wanted to take her dress off 
and wear a sheet, because that was like what she was into, is wearing a fitted sheet. Sometimes it doesn't matter where you are. You just want to tell the world how you feel. And that's exactly what one little girl did as she was in the White House. Right when the president walked in, she flung herself at his feet, having a tantrum. A million views on Reddit, you know, Good Morning America calling. It was just to be a part of the internet cycle of fake fame was an interesting experience. That's actually Claudia uh, during 4th of July parade in West U. She is Laura's number one fan. Uh, and actually, she is working on new artwork for the campaign. This is her idea for a new poster, Laura Moser for Congress. I think conventional wisdom would tell you that having it be a question is probably not the best. You want to have a declarative statement, Laura Moser, yes, for Congress. But I think I am not convinced that that's the wrong approach. Would you like my coffee? I just made a cup of coffee. I'm fine. I'm good, thank you. Yeah. yeah. Being a first-time candidate, it's it's like anything you do in life, that you don't quite know what it will be until you jump in. And I think if you did know, you might be more hesitant to jump in. We have real issues and real problems, and we need real solutions. So here I am. Here Last A year ago, I wouldn't have thought I'd be doing this. For me, I'm a writer. I'm much more comfortable writing my thoughts than speaking them. And that's been, you know, it's just it's just a steep learning curve. Every vote counts, I mean. It helps like, to have a one-on-one a -on -one face that you're dealing with. Yeah. yeah. How many people are you running against? Them? There's five others. Five? Frankly, that's a good problem good to have, yeah. because if I were running unopposed, I'm not sure I would be here on a 90-degree day. And so, do you know what I mean? <laughs> so we're all, it's harnessing all our energy. Everyone in my primary is a first-time candidate. I think that experience is not, you know, this incumbent it's his ninth term, and he is not delivering the goods. I support Ted Cruz, and we are both committed, as are the Texas okay. Republicans, to defund, okay. delay, repeal okay. Obamacare. Okay. And the fact that we have such far-right Tea Party or representatives, it's, it's because of the way they draw the lines, not because of the population. Thank you so much thank for talking so much. to us. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming by. Give yeah. me, I don't have a flyer. Oh, I didn't give you a flyer? No. Oh, oh, she's, she's, still, she's still learning. learning. My biggest challenge is money. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah. Take it easy. And this man, take a page out of this guy's playbook. Yeah. Asking people for money is the most awkward part, for sure. And I'm really bad at it. Hi. How are you? Is that too much? She was nice. And you know, you have to look a certain way if you're running as a woman. No, it needs to be kind of at your way. Think about how much Hillary had to Every day, like, her face had to be done, and all that stuff costs money and takes time. You know, everybody can be in it. My friend was like, you can't carry that handbag to, like, that luncheon. And I was like, what's wrong with it? And she said, no, no, no. And then I said, well, I like your bag. And then I looked it up on the internet, and it was, like, $2,000. Thank you for coming. I love her. I love you, too. Oh, excuse me. I left out one little thing. These campaigns aren't free. <laughs> and we would appreciate $2, $2,000, whatever you can spare. You know that internet thing that says, like, God grant me the confidence of a mediocre white man? Like, it's very hard as a woman to possess that and to project it. Thank you so much, Linwood and Kristen. Um, Linwood is my number one supporter. And if any, everyone in this room could leave here with one one hundredth of the enthusiasm that Linwood feels, and I feel like we're, we're going to be in good shape. You have to be able to kind of put a price tag on what you've done, and that's, I'm learning. We can't keep nominating the exact same people and expecting different results, and I am, for better or worse, a totally different kind of candidate. We need to, a candidate who brings people together and who can get more people into the process, and I think we do that by having values and defending them. All these women in Texas are just so tired of having our rights whittled away and having people ignore our collapsing infrastructure in schools so that they can, like, tell us what to do with our bodies. Like, every single person who doesn't like the direction this country is going needs to do a little bit more every single day. I've taken that to an extreme, but... <laughs> <laughs> the stakes are checks and balances. We need checks and balances on the executive branch. I'm proud of ever. I mean, I know so many people who have done more. I've met all these women running all over the country. I'm just, I'm really proud to be part of this movement in this kind of dark time in our Thank country. You. Thank you.